Hi, it's me, Alma Kane from twinsmommy.com. Now today I'm gonna to show you how to create a text-based logo for your brand new blog. All right, so this is my testing site, mom to mompreneur and it's the lifestyle theme, and this is what they have right here for my, for my logo, but I'm gonna create a newer one. Now, um, most of my blogs have a text-based logo, so if we go to Twins Mommy, you can see that I just have Twins Mommy is based on a font and with a little tagline. You can also see on my other site, on, um, on the cane, it's just a fancy font right there. And even my other site that I have is primarily text-based. It's a little bit fancier, but it's primarily text-based and it's just using one type of font there. So like I said, these types of fonts are easy to create and you can really have some fun with um, incorporating your brand in that logo. So um, I like to use Canva. It's a free way to edit your, your graphics and to create them. Let's go to custom dimensions and I'm gonna do 520 by 200 and I'm gonna design that. All right, so I'm gonna just go right into creating it. So this is gonna be mom. I'm gonna have this here, I'm gonna create another one. And then I'm going to create entrepreneur. All right, so let's have some fun with creating the text for this. So I like to use, let's use Lato for this, something simple. Just a little bit more scrunched. Um, let's make that plateau. A little bit more scrunched. And let's make this a bit smaller. So it's sort of hanging out in the to the side here. Alright, let's find A fancy font here. That's super fancy. Not too bad. All right, let's see. I think what was one that I liked? Now you can have fun with this and find one that you really like that sort of represents your brand. Um, you don't have to use the same font that you use for your pin graphics for your logo. You want it to stand out a little bit, so at least I don't do that. Um, I like to make my logo unique to my brand and then create a new sort of font for my pin graphics. Um, what was it that I was using? All right, let's use that one. It's a little thin, but that's okay. See how big I can make this. It's still too big. Okay. That's looking nice. That's looking nice, eh? All right, so let's make Mompreneur a brand color and we'll make that the, like, um, I don't know, like some kind of green that I have on my blog there. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, okay. Okay, you can do something like that. So I'm gonna download this as a PNG 
And I'm also going to show you how to um, put this on your graphics for your pin graphics. So but first let's put this on your blog. So on your blog and your WordPress theme, you go to appearance, then customize. And based on your theme, you can go to um, customize your where to put your logo. So for the lifestyle theme, I can um, select branding and then select the image that I want to use for my logo. And then it'll just, so that's what it looks like. That looks cute. I'm gonna save and publish. So that's what it is right here. Now, if I wanna create a, um, a pin graphic, so like I have this pin graphic here, at the bottom, I can put my logo right there. So to do that with Canva, what you want to do, I don't think I have a pin graphic here, um, is create your, when you're creating your pin, you can go to uploads and then you can put your logo in there your PNG right there. And then whenever you have your pin graphics, you can just place it at the bottom. You can size it, however big you want. So now each thing, each pin that you have is branded for your blog, right? So you can have a nice pin graphic. If you want this to arrange to the front, you can. So then that, that's all big and boom, you can have something like that and then you can create your, whatever this is, time hacks, resources or something, whatever mom to mom manure is supposed to be all about. <laughs> but there you go. So you can create your pin graphic with your logo right then in there. All right, so that's how you create a basic logo for your new blog. I hope you enjoy.